Hi Bartek. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Uh, are you? I saw in the first episode that you didn't manage to connect with this uh, track. Niestety nie udało wyjąć się danych. Spróbujemy e, u nas w kolejnym odcinku. And what is the plan for today? Do you have any ideas what we can do? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, uh, I try take this uh, ACU uh, and uh, open it. Uh, we are uh, connect uh, to uh, processor and uh, uh, try modify data uh, from this processor. And we will see. I think maybe. Work. Yes, maybe okay. it will we, work. We need to check it. So, first of all, let's start with disassembling the processor. Yeah. We already started the procedure of uh, taking off from the truck the ACU. Now, as you can see on the background, that uh, Bartek already started the procedure. Of course, first of all, we need to disconnect the voltage. And in the meantime, I want to say something more about this project. As you know, we are testing our parts on the road. We have a project 500 of 1000 kilometers with NRF parts. Now, this truck already did around 250,000 of kilometers with original software. Now we want to modify the software and test our parts. We will see how they will work after the update. We expect that it will be even more than 250,000 of kilometers, maybe even 1 million, because after this update, the life of working of the components of the truck should be even longer. So we will see. Here is the ACU from the truck, so I did my job, now your turn. Good luck. My turn. Thank you. Everything is connect. Uh, I uh, controlled. We haven't got uh, electrical short circuit. So I can uh, look at uh, power supply. Now I try read uh, this ICU. Uh, I choose DAF. It's F. Confirm. Uh, this is a method open mode. Okay. Uh, we have error. Error reading uh, the ICU. Uh, why? Here uh, we have new processor and new flash memory. Uh, this is a processor uh, have very new uh, reading protection, and I can't read this this data. But we uh, won't give up. So I see that the ECU is ready to back to the truck. Everything went according to your plan. Uh, no, but I have new idea and you first month and later you will see. Okay, so I started. Go. So Bartek, issue you back to the truck. So what, what is the next step? You mentioned that you have some ideas what we can do. Uh, yeah, I have a small module. Uh, 
inside is software, special software for this engine. Mm -hmm. uh, I have installation and I mount it uh, in the uh, engine. Okay, uh, as I see, we have some plugs which look the same as the installation in the truck. So I guess that we will disconnect the uh, wires which are going directly to the ECU and the second plug is the wires which are in the truck, correct? Yeah, yeah, it's a full plug and play. You take just off, that, okay. yeah. I just need to unplug the first uh, uh, plug and then we will can have a modification of the software, correct? Yes, correct. Perfect. I think it's uh, time for you, for work, so I will give you the whole set and good luck with this modification. Thank you. Where have you been? It was more than three hours I waited for you. Everything went, went according to the plan? Yeah, 100 kilometers, 24 ton. Look at this application and my results. Whoa, they are really imp impressive. You can imagine that we have a fuel consumption less than one liter per 100 kilometers and the performance of the engine I see they are whew, impressive. And you did it by your new software? Everything what I see here? Yeah, uh, everything is it's result, everything for this car, uh, for me, is perfect. Uh, we must waiting for uh, information for, from the uh, driver, driver and, uh, but now it's perfect. Okay, so guys, now pass time for a test on the road. As you know, you know our project. Now it will be even both projects because first of all we will test our parts and second we will test the Bartek's uh, software. So let's start. Thank you Bartek for today.